hotties! Uh, it's been a year since my boob job and over a year actually and I thought I would make this video kind of answering some questions that some of you asked me on Instagram because I know like I mean, not everyone has fake boobies. Like, we need to know the process because I know when I was like researching on getting a boob job, like I was very confused and I would binge watch like boob job videos. So maybe I'll be in the mix. My boob job video currently is my most watched video and it will probably be the most watched video of my entire channel in my whole YouTube career. First of all, I'm very proud of that video and I think it helped some people um, kind of reach their decision. Maybe it was for them, maybe it's not, but also, I mean, I'm not naive, like, I know some creepers were watching that video because they saw boobies in, like, the thumbnail and the title, but, um, a lot of, like, general questions, like, the size of my boobies, um, like, the shape, the doctor I went to, a breakdown of the cost, literally everything, um, is in my last video. I also have, like, timestamps on there if you kind of want to skip around. I also wanted to show you guys what they look like now and kind of showcase how much they dropped since the last time you saw them and I think they look pretty damn good. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, as I said before, I asked you on Instagram to ask me some questions. And the first one is, do your boobs look natural or is it obvious that you've gotten surgery? I am going to be honest, okay? I don't think my boobies look 100% natural and I'm going to elaborate on that. I mean, I don't think they look super like ball in a sock fake because I didn't get like super big implants so I don't think they look like super like um disproportionate to my body I did get round implants which means that it's like a circle like, I mean it's round the most natural implant that you can get is a gummy bear uh teardrop shape the implants like this so it has like a nice like really like slopey part on the top it doesn't round out at the top and Initially, I did want to get that because they are teardrop shape um, if they were to like move around in your body Like there's like kind of nothing you can do about it So what they do to combat that is make it textured and I did not want to get textured implants because those are the only implants that have been linked to ALCO, I'm pretty sure that's what the acronym is uh, But it's basically a type of cancer and even though it is only one in three thousand women that like suffer from that uh, I didn't want to take any risk at all so that's like the reason why I opted for round implants and that's kind of why they don't look super natural on my body type they look so natural on other women that already have like adequate breast tissue to begin with like if you think about it right like if you already have like an a cup or a b cup you're just putting it under there and it's kind of like enhancing what you already have so you already have breast tissue on top and it will like slope down and like curve and like do what you want to do but for me i don't think like any of you guys really know how flat i was it was literally skin. You know how some people are like, oh, I have no boobs at all, like I'm so flat chested, but like they can still use a like push up bra or like they can like push their boobies together and it would be kind of like a fake cleavage. Like I could not do that. I swear I had zero breast tissue to begin with. It was literally just skin. I don't even think I was a double A cup. It was probably like a triple A cup. I don't think I was on like the cup scale. Like it was flat, like flat, flat. So, of course, when you're going to put round implants on there, like, it's going to have um, a more prominent definition on the top, which I don't think looks the most natural. I think that's, like, when people are being, like, super picky about it. Um, I honestly don't mind it. I still think they look great. I did post a, like, bikini picture on Instagram. I was, like, kind of nervous about that uh, because I kind of, like, don't do that kind of thing, especially when I was flat-chested and I felt really insecure about myself. Uh, but I did use flash and I think it really enhanced the kind of Definition I have on top right here and it kind of made it look more um, Prevalent than it does like in real life or like with the naked eye with like not flash did get some like kind of mean uh, Comments saying that like my boobs look really really fake and I'm of course like people have like their own opinions Do they feel natural again since I didn't have breast tissue on top? 
what you feel is literally like my skin and then you feel like uh the silicone under i don't think it feels super fake um it's still really squishy in my opinion like i like push them together and like do whatever i want to do with them and it's fine they don't feel like fat though like because fat is very very soft and even though this is very soft like nothing can simulate the same um texture i guess or you know you know what kind of word i'm going for as actual fat that your body produces i have heard though when women get their implants and they already have like breast tissue on top all you can feel is the breast tissue so it feels completely real i want to emphasize that this is my own unique experience with my own body uh you know take everything i say not to you know i'm not a doctor I really don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just telling you how it has been for me. I still think they're really soft. They're nice. I don't think they'd be like, those are fake. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like groping myself in this video and I don't know how I feel about that. Someone asked, uh, did your nipple color change? <laughs> uh, no, it didn't. Uh, I was kind of nervous that like my nipples would change like in general because you know some women's like areolas like stretch out like they will change colors all that stuff but mine they look as normal as they did before to me um they're still pretty much the same so yeah <laughs> a lot of people actually asked have you ever doubted your decision or always loved the choice not one time in this entire experience even when I literally thought I had like this disease that wouldn't make my poop solid. You guys remember that the vlog? It's because I fucking drank only like stool softeners because I also thought I wasn't like shitting correctly. It was just like this whole thing. Um, also like with my skin rash, that was a whole thing. But not once in this entire experience have I ever regretted it because I knew I was going in it with the right mindset and the right intentions. And you know, I was being very like realistic about things. Um, you know, I knew it wasn't gonna be easy. Like you don't go under the knife and think it's gonna be like all rainbows and butterflies, you know? So I knew it was gonna be tough. I really love them and I think they look great. And I mean, it is my body. So, you know, people are gonna say shit and I don't know, people are gonna say shit anyways. So might as well just do what you wanna do. So yeah, they're, I'm really happy and grateful. Can you sleep on your stomach? Yes, I could do literally everything. I can exercise, I can do anything with it exactly the same as it was before. Do you ever feel the need to wear a push-up bra for more cleavage? No, actually, I love the size that I opted for. I think it fits my frame perfectly. Honestly, I feel like if I went bigger, it would be a little bit too big for me. So, um, I mean, there has been like a time where I wore like a push-up bra just to see what it looked like and it was pretty intense. Um, I don't know what situation I would be wearing that. Maybe if I just wanna like have fun, you know, have like my boobies out extra, like I would do that, but not on like a day-to-day -day basis where I'm like, I want my boobies to look better. Oh my god, I'm saying boobies so much, but I like that word. Do you have to wear a bra all the time? Uh, I think it was three months, I'm pretty sure. I did have to wear a bra, like I kind of like supported bras, but ever since then, I do not wear bras unless like I'm wearing a top like this where I don't want my nippies out. What I do is I wear these like little pasties. They're called nippies and they are the best like pasties I've ever tried in my life. This is not sponsored at all. I wear them almost every single day because my boobs right now are like very like perky and like, like I like the shape of them. Like I don't want to change anything about them. And sometimes when I don't want to free the nip, uh, I will put the pasties on and it literally feels like nothing. It is so thin that you can't see like the outline of them under like really thin tops. Cause sometimes you can see that and it'd be like major pepperoni nipple. And sometimes you do not want that. So I like how thin they are and they match like my skin color. So it's really funny sometimes I'm just like walking around with them and like, I'll like look at my boobs and it will literally look like my nipples are blurred out. <laughs> It's kind of funny. I literally used to wear bras when I didn't have boobs, not because I needed them. I would wear them because it would have padding, so it would be like kind of a little bit of a hump like from the padding because um, I had nothing at all. So it's been kind of cool like being able to, you know, go out and not 
like force myself to wear a bra to like feel okay. Did you get any complications months after your procedure, like back pain, etc.? Uh, no, ever since I resolved my little chest acne rash issue um, from my last video like a year ago, literally nothing else has happened. I don't have back pain because my boobs aren't that big. I'm not super, you know, top heavy where, um, yeah, I mean, I do have back pain, but it's because I slouch like this all day and I'm like, oh my God, what am I, what does my back hurt? Honestly, nothing at all has been negative so far which is really great, very grateful for that. Do you think you need to wait to be a certain age or you can do it after you turn 18? I think this is very personal. Okay, so for me, I knew I wanted my boobs done when I was like 16 years old. And I had like made this promise to myself that like the second I turn 18, I'm going to get my boobs done. And I mean, of course, like I'd done it now when I was like 19 or 20, but it was in a very different mindset. When I was like 16 to 18 years old, I don't think I was mature enough to be able to go through this process because it is very rigorous. You are messing with your natural body, you know, like you have to know how to take care of yourself. It's going to be with you for many years. It's, it's a commitment, you know? And I went through this period where I think I was like 19 years old where I was like, oh, I'm so happy I didn't get a boob job. Like, I'm very happy with my body right now. Like, that totally would not have made me happy because the reason why I wanted to get boobs was to get attention from boys. And then what if I didn't get attention from boys and then I would have regretted my boobs? It's not a very healthy way to go about this process. And it wasn't until I was ready and I got into the right mindset of getting it for myself because I knew in my heart that I would just feel more like this is my body, like the, the way that I imagine myself in my head and kind of like reflecting that into the world. And I don't know, I it's a very, like it, ha like, I mean, it is very personal, you know? And I'm really happy that I waited to get to that point in my life where I was mature enough uh, to know that I was doing it for the right reasons. And I mean, maybe some of you mature quicker than I do. Uh, and you know, getting at 18 is the right decision for you. Uh, personally, it just wasn't for me. How did this decision affect your relationship with yourself and others? Also the boob job slays, you're an icon inspiration per. Thank you so much. Uh, I love you. I definitely feel astronomically more confident with myself. Um, I knew that my confidence would, you know, rise because I'm like, well, this is my biggest insecurity and it's finally getting enhanced, you know? So obviously like my confidence is gonna go up, but I didn't think that it would help me this much. Like, I love myself. And it's really, it's a really nice feeling and like, I think that I made the right decision. But yeah, it's really nice not hating yourself every time you look in the mirror or like want to cry. So that's really great. I love that. <laughs> and with others, um, you know, like I didn't get it for anyone else. Like my boyfriend still treats me the same. You know, it's still a good time. Like, I mean, he's not complaining that I have boobies, you know, but he wasn't complaining that I didn't have titties. I definitely feel hotter and sexier. And I want to like, really really point out that i am not saying that if you're flat chested or you have small boobs that you're not hot and sexy because we all are you know i feel like it's just, it's a mindset kind of thing and i did still feel hot and sexy when i didn't have boobies but now i just feel like more like myself and that kind of like translates into my confidence you know like when you feel comfortable in your own body it's going to affect the way that you think about the world. So that's been really nice. Um, my friends really don't care. My family doesn't care. Uh, I think it's more just like, I'm just feeling more confident in myself and I think people can see that. I really like these next couple of questions and they read, do you feel like yourself or does it feel like someone else's body? And do you have any feelings of guilt because you don't love your natural body? I love like these insightful questions. <laughs> I definitely still do feel like myself and I was kind of nervous about um, kind of feeling like an imposter or, you know, again, like kind of like being in someone else's body because I've heard that like some people will go under the knife and 
they will feel like they've lost their sense of identity and it would kind of just be like this really depressive episode. I don't feel guilt per se of not loving my natural body because I'm also proud of myself of taking matters into my own hands and making myself happy like knowing the way to make myself feel more confident uh but you know I have made videos on like how to feel confident with your flat chest or small boobs and I know that helped a lot of people and it was really hard when people would call me like a hypocrite or you know just like a liar or you know like just like mean words um about that because you know like I like preach like loving your body and then I go here and like get plastic surgery but I don't think people should take it that way I think I talked about this in the other video but I think it's really an important lesson to know that other people aren't responsible for your insecurities I feel like you shouldn't project on other people for doing what makes them happy. I still stand by all of like the confidence tips and everything on, you know, how to feel sexy and how to love your body. I feel like I shouldn't be patronized for wanting to do something to enhance my own and feeling happy and okay with doing that. Um, I don't know. That's just my two cents. I mean, a lot of people are like, you should just take them out because they're not natural to your body. And I'm like, no, <laughs> they're, they're here, whether you like it or not. So, I mean, next question is how is scarring? Is it noticeable or looks natural? My scars are very flat, which is nice. And they're very smooth. They don't uh, like kind of protrude or like stick out or very, very red. I've seen that with some women. Uh, I think maybe because they're allergic to like the stitches or something i don't know i'm not sure i mean i'm not like a super 100 percent loving them uh they still are there because i mean like they gotta they gotta put them in somewhere the thing about them is that they are darker than my skin tone my surgeon actually said that this is seen more often in asian people so that's great as time goes on it will fade to my you know skin color but uh yeah i mean like you can see them i don't think it's a big deal because i feel like if people see my scars and they're weird about it then i know that i don't want them in my life because like why would you be weird about that when i like wear like tops that like do like under boob action um they're not noticeable at least i don't think so and you know people see it people see it it's just it's just how it is. Did you suffer any symptoms potentially related to breast implant illness? And the answer to that for me right now is no. When women go through BII, it usually uh, presents itself many years after the procedure, probably like five to like literally 15 years. So I'm not in that ballpark. I hope I never experience that because it is such a tragedy. I will take them out if I need to. Like I'm not gonna hold on to them and like suffer for having like tits, you know? Like I'm not gonna <laughs> do that to my body because my body does so many things for me. I don't want to damage it. I know you had a rash when you first got it, but how long did that take to go away? It took about two weeks to go away after I filmed that clip. Do you have stretch marks from the implants stretching your skin? No, and I was so, so scared about that because again, you know, I had no breast tissue to start off with. So what my skin was doing essentially was like, there was like this big thing going inside of it. Like, of course your skin is gonna stretch. Like, of course, like, it's like, what the fuck is in me, you know? So I was really scared about that. So what I did was I applied bio oil, like on my boobies, like slather that shit on like once or twice a day. And um, I now I, I don't have any stretch marks at all. Okay, last couple of questions is, was it worth it? And would you still have done it if you knew what you know now? I completely think it's worth it. I mean, I was raving about them this entire video uh, and definitely I still would have done it if I knew 
what I knew now. Yes, I was being very positive about my whole experience in this video and just how it all has been. But I think if you are, you know, thinking about getting this procedure on yourself is to kind of like diversify the kind of opinions you get from people because a lot of women do not go through the same thing as me. Some of them are very, very complicated. They go through a lot of pain. I'm very thankful that I didn't go through that. And um, I want to let you know that not everyone goes through like a very uh, rocky experience but also we can't disregard those women's experiences as well so i don't want you to think this whole video is kind of like promotion for getting a breast augmentation it's going to make your life so much better it's going to solve all your life problems you're going to be the most confident person in the world like that's not going to happen you know you have to be very realistic on what boobs will do to your life i guess i don't know like going under the knife and doing all of this i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned some things stay safe and sexy and i'll see you next time bye c'est l'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois cherchant l'impossible elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée